Frank Odaz turns 95, Saturday, October 8th. In the late 40s, he moved to Cody. He was outstanding in his field. And he went to seek adventure. And he found adventure with someone who was also seeking a Wyoming cowboy adventure. Long story short, it was a scouting family. But in the beginning, we all were introduced to many different types of outdoor adventures, some of which were a bit harrowing. The beauty was always present, and we were out and about as the family grew. Here's Pa's parents, Frank Odez, the senior, and his and grandma. And here's Pa and his dad, Frank and Frank Jr., Frank was old, oldest of five, and in the this is his Nash. He's going canoeing. I believe it's the early 50s, and then throughout the next 70 years, there were many adventures. Eventually, we had quite a lot of gear for the station wagon. We'd load up a canoe, three kayaks, all backpacks, sleeping bags, and five kids in the back. Here's mom sleeping outside. We had a tent that we used for decades, and as the family grew, it got more exciting all the time. One photograph after another of outdoor adventures. You can tell by the smile what Pa enjoyed, as did all of us. Uh, we had adventures on Yellowstone Lake. One time we left the boat overnight and came to find the canoe swamped. We paddled the canoe and three kayaks down the side of Yellowstone for one trip. Mother was always good-natured, cooking. Here's ice frozen in the bucket. Here's trout and bacon. Here's Dan in our family tent where all five kids would sleep while Ma and Pa would sleep in the car or out on the ground. So many beautiful places. Sometimes the fishing wasn't that great. You could tell by the smiles how good the fishing was. Generally, we caught fish everywhere we went. And fishing was a big family passion. Mother loved the outdoors, canoeing, being in the trees. Here's where they'd sleep in the back of the sleeping wagon station wagon. Ma was always up for adventure and loved to watch the family grow. Pa taught us all how to backpack and how to sleep in a tube tent which was a lightweight waterproof system. Here's Pa getting ready to go fishing with Alan and Lori. Sometimes the adventures were precarious but there was always beauty and adventure to be had. As the years passed, Ma and Pa ended up back in Wyoming in 74. Ma got plenty of adventurous opportunities, and we've all got so much to be thankful for. Here's Pa at Island Lake, pointing to the Beartooth where we're hiking. Here's Pa on the top of Mount Whitney where he took three of us in our early years backpacking up to the top. We had many great friends. Here's Jess and Polly Frost. Here's Phil and Dick Shaw, Annie. So here's the Odaz family in 1962 when Dan was born. Here we are in the late 60s. Here we are in the early 70s. And here we are at our last family gathering and uh, during Alan's uh, wedding. This is the Ma and Pa celebrated their 63rd anniversary. And since then, Pa and Tyler have been good friends, learning tricks. Pa gets every, takes every opportunity he can to fish on the river. 37 years with our family cabin up Green Creek. Pa has just painted the gate and the bridge. And Pa is still out there fishing and having fun. So in short, we want to celebrate 
Frank Odaz Jr.'s 95th birthday, and we'll leave you to it.